I personally recommend reef breeders because that's what I have the looking at your house right now at your tank. These are these are legit. So I got all four of them for four hundred, but I had to get them from China. Well, actually, it was Hong Kong. It was Hong Kong, and it came in four days. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, through the U.S. mail, or they use DHL? DHL Express. Four yep. days. I was shocked when it came to the door. And uh, this top-down view is looking sweet. Yeah, I'm, I need that. I got a buddy, Pedro. Uh, let me do it this way. His ass is pretty tall, so... Those who, the people with beards know him as Mr. Beard. Oh yeah. One thing I'm missing out of the tank is the mini tanks. And I've already put the word out. If you have it, I want it. I have to have a mini tank. I know. The, it's my all time favorite fish. When his tank crashed, he was like, go get my fling mini tank. I was like, yeah, I can. Your couch and glasses all over the place with rock everywhere. And then what was that coral that you saved? You were, were you able to save it or? Which piece? The one that Coral you were telling me to go look for. Oh, the middle four. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That is sweet. So I know everybody's going to ask a million and one questions on, hey, what did he do? How did he do it? So I started out with Colony, which I have no more because Colony is pretty expensive. Uh -huh. But I have a in case it storms package down here. So, stability. And this is two liters of stability. So that's not some, that's salt water and fresh water stuff? Mm hmm It's new tank stabilized stability. So I dose about 40 milliliters in this a day. I'm on the reef pro system. Uh -huh. So I elevated my uh, alkalinity to 12.6 my calcium is 465 and my magnesium is 1365 so once you elevate it to that level you start dosing your oh, yeah, that's the stuff you shot sent me that's b and calcium is a all right so that's supplements that's daily supplements those three i then feed the coral twice a week with Reef Plus because I they have to have that vitamin A. And I only put like 40 milliliters in. Um, what do you think uh, vitamin A does? Vitamin A actually helps the health of the coral. So the coral can actually, if it's damaged, it can actually help that coral grow new tissue rather than, oh yeah, let me just throw some food in there and hope it does it. Now, vitamin A will help your coral grow new tissue. It's already been proven. Sweet. Yes. I have a lot of acros. I love that shit. Acro power. And that's the big bottle. I can only afford the $20 bottle. <laughs> this is the big boy right here. <laughs> All right. So, my top off water. So, Paul got me in calc. calc. And I actually still have what he gave me. A little bit. Okay. So, he gave me a little bit of this. And I started looking at Kalkwasa and I started researching it a lot. And it was alkalinity and calcium. Mm -hmm. This one is calcium, magnesium, stronium. Most people don't know what stronium really does for your reef tank. Stronium is found in your mixed up water, right? And it's in very, very small amounts. Strontium is one of the, the beneficial elements for coral building. So this sold me as soon as it said strontium i started researching it it's like yeah i'm gonna do my cock was with cock plus two then have to have core fruit which i've been had this one i had this one for a while i got i got some of that i bought the pellets i didn't like the pellet i use the pellets as fish food yeah they're good if you want to feed like a brain or a duncan or something of that sort but my food for choice is not down there. It's actually in my other cabinet. Yeah, your wife, she did good. <laughs> I've been using this stuff for about a week and a half. Refroids. I would, actually, if they asked me to so, sell it. So worth it or nah? It's completely worth it. Really? 
So there's a couple Zoanthus over here. There was two Zoanthus when I started this tank. Two. And I was like, oh, neat. I still got some over there. Two. There's about nine or ten over there now. Mind you, this tank's only been up less than two weeks. Mm -hmm. And they're already starting to propagate. So these orange pallets, they're moving. If you look around, you'll see them everywhere. And I personally didn't put them there. I put the colony over there and they're just sprouting up everywhere. I blame it on reef roots. Mm. Like, okay. Because I've seen them and I'm like, eh. who? So who, who makes the reef roots? The polyp, polyp lab. Polyp lab people? Because I, I mean, I see everybody holding reef roots and polyp lab, but I'm like, yeah, you're paying people to do it. I, I personally swear by it. I like my fluids, and I'll go to the extent where I feed three times a week. I might Not go on too much shot. because I don't want my uh, nutrients to go too hot. Because if you look at the bottom, there's no sand. Yeah, I noticed that. And that was the whole goal. Like I seen people do the no sand setup, and I was like, you know what? My next tank, I'm not gonna do any sand. No, Paul doesn't have any sand. Yeah, I seen his tank, and I was like, okay, you know, I can. Respect that. That little piece of bird's nest that you gave me, huh? it's not the big colony because yeah. it broke all up, but that little piece is actually growing. Really? Yeah, that's the piece that you gave me. And it was like a little fraction of that. It was mainly like half the size. This one? No, the one over here. I was like, oh, that one's too big. My wife actually broke that one. That's why it's little pieces everywhere. That little piece that's off to the left hand side of it, right under that millipore. Sweet. So that piece, those Duncans that never came out, uh -huh. which I blame my core beauty for now, they're right here. They would never come out. Yeah. That brain definitely survived the blast. Yeah, that was one of the first pieces we chucked in the tank. And this 300 was not even full. It was like like that much full or so. We're just chucking rocks in there and everything like that. So that's good. That guy made it. Uh, Your setup is really, really nice. What, what kind of tank is this, do you think? Uh, oceanic. So no more custom tanks for you? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Especially from, uh, what's his face? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, sir, I looked this tank up and down before anything even went in it. Cause I was just so like, oh my God, I don't want it to happen again. So I checked everything. I'm checking for hairline cracks and all. Daily. Yep. But so far it's, it's been nothing. It's been great. Really nice. Everything to start thriving here all over again. Uh, got my little baby refugium down there. Oh, it's all messy. Oh yeah. I'm still I'm still working on it. I put that in a tub because I was scared it might leak. We got the mangroves. My plumbing work is not the best. Because I did it really, really fast. I didn't want you to open this side because your chocolate chip starfish is sitting right there. Oh, you got me one? Oh, Sweet. yeah. Hell yeah. You are going to be my Harley Can shrimp for dinner. Thanks, man. Sweet. No problem. I went up there and saw what I had today. Oh, you do? Yeah. I got cleaner rasps because that dory that I got, uh -huh. it got it. Really? That's why I hate dories. Uh, well, I don't hate them, but I hate that they get it. Yeah, well. well yeah. I got some garlic, though. I use that garlic. I got garlic, but the cleaner rasses uh, target after them. But it's probably not gonna be until they go to bed. Dory sleeps right there every night in that little cove. And the cleaner rasses will go down there with her and clean it. Uh, I don't know uh, if you've seen that. The, the team. massive maroon cloud that's in here. No, I haven't. Oh, there's a, a green mandarin right there. 
So there's a maroon clown. So the story behind this maroon clown, there was a, an enemy. There was an enemy right here. The enemy crawled behind this rock work. The maroon clown hangs in that enemy. The, the maroon clown is always behind this rock work. Unless okay. like you feed or something like that. But the maroon clown is probably about the size of the door. The maroon clown is massive. That's Biggest crazy. maroon clown I've ever seen, ever. I'm like, wow, I have to have this maroon clown. It was on sale, so got it. It's good, man. So insurance helped you out 100%? Oh, insurance, there. Shouts out to insurance, they're so, awesome. So for anybody to avoid this, what would you recommend? Like, you had the, what kind of insurance did you have? So I have rental and homeowners. Homeowners covers the structure of the house. Renters covers your property. That's all it does. So it's two separate entities. I would advise anybody that has a aquarium, even if you own the house, get renters. Because homeowners doesn't cover appliance damage, in which an aquarium is an appliance. Okay. Mind you, they don't cover the livestock that's in a tank, but they will cover anything that it damages. So um, I had lights get damaged, I had pumps get damaged, I had a lot of stuff get damaged. Yeah, because you didn't have these lights up. No? And now I have more than enough equipment to suffice. This is all LED. Before you had the T5s, remember you had T5s, but... Nice. There we go. Ah, the Eco Smart. That's what it was. Oh, that's cool, man. It looks, looks... We're seeing daylight, blues, all kinds of different colors. If you got ready on us, I would suggest anybody get this Eco Smart. It might seem like a rip a off. $99 <laughs> buy. Uh -huh. But nobody wants to sit on top of the stand and do these lights all day. Hey, I did. I did. I have my heavy ass laptop. <laughs> that but. Eco Smart, I just sit on the couch and I program it. And it ramp up and down, whatever it is I want to do. If I want to do a storm, I can make it rain in here. Did you see that big scopus thing that had a uh, sea creatures? No, I haven't been there lately. I mean, this thing is every bit of eight inches and I almost got it. But I'm like, nah. I think, I, I think if even if they do watch it, which I doubt, I think they should do point system. I already told Jimmy. Jimmy just said, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. I told, I said, if you had a point system, I'd probably go to the LFS a little bit more, but that's just my two cents. Um, Saltwater Heaven has one. Yeah. One system. <laughs> yeah, like, I still have like a thousand points over there. I think they even give you points on your birthday. Whatever. It's sweet, man. I love the fish. Love the new fish. Yeah, I was kind of skeptic about that powder brown. Love the powder like, brown. Uh, I don't know if I want to get him. Um, he's an ick magnet. My boy Javi, Javier, the one that came out, also came over here. Mm -hmm. He has one, and that's where I was like, man, this, those are nice. Such a cool fish. But everybody else says they get them cheap, but over here. I don't know, they sell them pretty expensive. I got that one for like 30 bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. In the Ark. Oh, really? Yeah. The Ark? Yeah, I got that. They had two of them. I think they, well, they, they had two of them. I don't know if they still got them now. I got that one and that one, 30 bucks a piece. Nice. The man. Naso and the Powder Brown. That's awesome. I was like, okay, sure. Because uh, one time I went to the Ark and they really didn't have anything. So I was like, well. Yeah, they've been getting, slowly been getting stuff, man. Oh, sweet. I told them to get me, the next thing I'm going to add to this tank is a UV sterilizer. So, a UV sterilizer uh, helps with bacteria blooms. 
Not to mention, you get these tanks on YouTube and like, oh, well, the water is like super, super crystal clear. Even though my water is clear enough, I can stick my hand in there, see the ridges on my finger on the other side. I want it clear. Like, I want to be able to, to look through it and not have any imperfections. Not to mention, it helps for the health of the fish to have that UV sterilizer. So I'm going to order one. It's about $69. Yeah, I'm curious to see what size you get because, like, this is a 300. It's not like a little, little 120. I'm gonna get an inline, uh, 18 watt. It's the one that I want to get. Yeah, I love your tank. So a little bit about these cores, right? So I got them in, and they were cheaper, way, way, way cheaper than anything I've ever seen. So I got in these Zoa colonies. I got them for about 50 bucks a piece. Wow. These Zoa colonies, I got that plate coral and it's starting to come back to its old glorious self before where the reef corner shipped them to me. They said it was distressed, got it. Uh, what was it, 